Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be showing the top 5 best decks for June 2024, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and starting at number 1, going to be this Recruits Goblin Barrel deck. They finally made the update where now you can't see the fake barrel from the evil barrel, so I think evil barrel is actually going to be pretty popular, especially because you always have to respond to that fake barrel, and yeah, Dagger Dutch just still kind of counters it, but it's a lot better that now you can't see the fake barrel. going to be super annoying for all the people who don't like log bait, but... Anyways, first match, you're facing Poison, Firecar. I think I'll still be able to win, though. I just have to get to my Evil Barrel. I already played one, so I'm just going to have to play a second one. By the way, this deck is so easy to play. Like, even my five-year-old cousin could play it. So easy. Like, actually, we're going to have a no-skill pandemic this season because Giant is not going to go away anytime soon. Plus, these kind of decks, like Recruits, Goblin, Barrel, Evil kind of decks. Or, like, dual lane decks with Goblin, Barrel, Evil. Yeah, I'm definitely not looking forward to this season now that I think about it, but... It's okay, though. Can't be worse than, like, two seasons ago. That was just horrible. Okay. See what I can do here? I'm going to be back to Evil Barrel. I'm probably going to send it out sometime soon, but I do need to get back to it, though. I'm going to go for a Cracker here to get some damage. Barrel on the left. Okay. I could try to gang on the left, but it's okay. I don't need to. I'm just going to let that die. Barrel going to get on the tower. I'm going to go for Goblins here. Oh, no. I put into the log. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why I did that, but it's all good. Yeah, definitely don't do that when you're playing the tech. I'm going to Goblin Gang in front of the Firecracker to kind of apply some pressure because Daggers were a little bit out. Okay, Daggers are still a little bit out, but he did activate King Tower off that. He would have gotten the activation either way, so I don't care. I'm going to go for Evil Recruits in the back. The good thing is that he's not playing Evil Mortar, so I don't really have to worry about like a Mortar lock on my tower. But bad thing is that Mortar does counter me when I'm playing Recruits because... Mortar is like one of the worst matchups for the deck. It's okay though, I should be able to win because I have the Evo Barrel. Let's go for the Poison. I'm probably going to Skelly Barrel the middle on the Mortar. And then I'm just going to Barrel. Real Barrel on the left. Fake Barrel on the right. Because he's going to log the right because I have a recruit there. Nice. And the Real Barrel got so much damage. Wait, I'm going to Arrows. Goblins are going to go on Tower. Yo. Okay, so much damage. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm going to Mighty in the middle. I'll go Cracker on the side to get damage on the Tower and take out the Mortar. I need to gang on the knight, though. Ooh, really bad miner. Although, I wonder if that's bad, because miner dies, but the evil knight's still alive. I'm going to arrows predict bats. I'm just playing. I knew he was going to bats, but that was basically to kill the mortar, by the way. But I don't know why I knew he was going to bats, though. I promise. Okay. Easy. Um, Two more. Or one more, sorry. Okay, two hits on the mortar. Nice. Not too bad. I don't have to defend the mortar, because the old firecracker got two hits, and I caught the miner. By the way, this guy doesn't know any other placement other than safe spot. He's played it twice, and he played it on the safe spot both times. So, I probably don't have to worry about catching Miner this game. Probably going to just spam predict the safe spot. I'm going to go for recruits in front of my tower. I'll be going to get one shot on my tower, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to crack around the side. Okay, looking good. I could also Goblin Gang. He did log, so... I don't know. I could play different things. Yeah, I do need to Goblin Gang, actually. Mortar Shot's gonna, like, kind of take out the Goblins, but not really. I'm gonna go for Goblin Gang to get some damage on the Mortar. Uh, okay, I didn't get the Mighty down on time, so that's unfortunate. I take one shot. But it's okay, though. I should be able to get back to my Evo Barrel sometime soon if I actually play a Barrel. But right here would be kind of a bad spot to play the Barrel. Okay, I baited out the Log, actually. Hold up. I need to defend here. I'm going to go for recruits. Is that on the safe spot? Yeah, it is. Okay. That, like, confirms it that he's not going to put it on any other spot, by the way, for, like, the rest of the game. Goblin Gang right now. Hopefully, it doesn't die to the mortar. All right. There we go. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to go for double barrel. Okay. Miner on safe spot again. Yeah, I know this guy's up to it. I'm going to go for arrows because he was one off log. Nice. Okay. Got some damage. Okay. I'm going to go for cracker in the middle. He might try to mortar again, but... Once I get to my Evo Barrel, I think the game's over. I'm going to put the real barrel on the right. Because, I mean, there's no point in putting the real barrel on the left. He's going to spell it. Never mind. There was a point. Why didn't he log? Wow. Okay. I guess I should have put it on the right, but easy catch on the miner, though, because this guy does not know any other placements. He literally probably doesn't know that you can place miner on any other placements. <laughs> so funny. I'm going to go for a Mighty Miner on the Evo Knight. Going to Goblin Gang spam predict the miner. Nice. I'm going to go for a Firecracker in the middle for the bats gonna goblins in the middle okay looking good looking good i'm gonna barrel i'm just gonna gang behind my tower i know that the miner is gonna be on the safe spot but still i wanted to gang behind the tower i'm gonna go for arrows and same exact spot for the miner again let's go okay i'll take the win just the fact that i can beat this deck proves that this deck is gonna be really annoying next season because mortar is one of the worst matchups although this guy did not play that well 
I will say you put the monitor on the same spot back to back, but yeah, that's crazy. Okay, deck number two, Lava Hound Balloon Void. I actually put Lava Hound in front of Giant because last season at the end, Lava Hound was way more popular than Giant in the top 50. And it was so annoying because people kept going Lava first play and starting handing to win the game. Oftentimes people didn't even run a balloon. They just had like straight Lava Hound triple spell void type stuff. But yeah, I think Lava Loon is good because you actually have like an extra win condition too. And yeah, Void gets like the same value that it would get even if you're playing lava hound balloon or like just lava hound like spam units i'm gonna go for an eye drag because i did take out the he was yo that was really bad bandit i think i'll win here i just have to go for a balloon yeah this push is gonna be massive unless he has like arrows and i don't know minions or something i don't think he's gonna defend this even if he has minions i can snowball oh that's tower yeah he can't do anything for the um balloon by the way yeah still tower because the balloons got a lot of hp and towers on the eye drag eye drag died but that's like two more shots on the tower and i also forgot to mention i know that that looked really no skill and like really easy because these games are not high quality but i promise that if you check the gameplay of like a top 10 lava hound player and a top 10k lava hound player you would not be able to find difference you just like do the same thing just lava the back um yeah just don't defend but since you know i don't like eating damage i'm gonna defend here and yeah, defending also helps you keep your tower, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> okay, let me stop being weird. But yeah, people just don't defend, man. They just like lava the back, they go in, they tower trade, and then they just win. Like, it's so dumb. Lava is like a really dumb concept. I don't like the card. Okay, I'm going to go for an eye drag on top of the Mega Knight. I know he's really annoyed about the Ewis because I think he should have played it on the right lane to tower trade. But even then, I would have had a void and then, uh, I don't know, something at least. Actually, I wouldn't have anything if I played a Void. I would have Barbs, but I would not have enough Elixir, so I'm glad he played the Ewas on the other side. Yo, a lot of damage off the pups. I'm going to go for a Lava Hound in the back again. I'm yeah, just going to rip a Lava in the back. He's probably going to Prince on the right. He's been doing it every time I Lava. Yeah, okay. I'm going to Barbarians on top of the Prince. Okay, looking good. I can Balloon here and take the tower. I can also Void on the Ewas. And if he does go for the Ewas on the left, I can also Inferno Dragon on the Mega Knight. So this is like a win-win for me right here. All right. Inferno Dragon on the MK. I'm just going to Void on the Ewas. What else is he going to do? Like Executioner, but it won't really do damage enough on time. Oh, Evo Zap. That was good. I tried to pull the Mega Knight back into the Inferno Dragon, but I didn't know he had an Evo Zap back. That was really good. I wasn't keeping track. I was only keeping track of like Ewas and Exe. Those are like the two main important cards that actually hurt me. Or like somewhat hurt me because not really because I'm playing Lava Hound. <laughs> All right. That was like the easiest game ever. But yeah, deck number two definitely gonna be like one of the easiest decks to ever play all right deck number three um i mean yeah you guys predicted it i literally said i'm gonna put this deck before giant when i played the last deck so gonna be giant night witch but people run evil wizard in this by the way but i don't have it max so i'm gonna run evil bomber and evil bomber is also popular like last season at the end last four hours people were running evil bomber because i don't know for some reason like some uh I don't know what deck it was, but like some random deck randomly became meta at the end. I hate the last minute meta shift. It's so annoying. Like you have no time to prepare, no time to practice. You just have to go go with the flow. But yeah, because of that, last season there was like a lot of Evil Bomber and Evil Bomber is kind of annoying. It kind of made me realize that Evil Bomber is still so annoying if played right. Okay, that's going to be some damage, but the fact that he has a Princess Tower is going to hurt me a lot because I'm not going to get the whole tower. Okay. That's all good. That kind of got starting handed with the Goblin Jab, but I'm still going to win the game, though. I know what deck he's playing now, so I can kind of play accordingly. But yeah, that starting play was really annoying. He went Goblin Jab, Mega Minion, and then just went, like, Zap on my Fisherman. It's okay, though. I'm just going to Bomber Jab because he's not back to E-Barbs, and then he's back to Mega Minion, but I'm going to void it, and I win the game, right? Yeah, I'm just going to void this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using Brain with Jab, man. Jab is so dumb. Like, look at that. Look at all the damage I got. Just Jab straight out the bridge and you get damage let's go okay he's not gonna be able to goblin giant here and also not gonna be able to pop the second ability so i don't have to worry about the queen by the way i miss when i used to be able to play archer queen archer queen is like one of my most favorite cards of all time but yeah right now i'm not being able to use it because dagger duchess cooks it and then another reason is that like void also gets a lot of value little prince is like a lot easier to play and it doesn't matter if you feed three elixir into three but yeah it definitely matters if you feed five into three okay i need to get to my um void for that sparky one shot oh i didn't get the one shot but bat's got some damage so i'll take that for sure 
Fisherman in the middle. I'm going to void on this Sparky here. Okay. I'm also going to Knight over here. Yo, that's on the Goblin Giant, right? No, I didn't have the arrows. I thought that was on the Goblin Giant. It's okay, though. I'm not going to Giant here. I'm going to let that die. I'm actually going to Night Witch in the back. And here, I'll definitely get his tower because I'm going to Giant with this. Yeah, I'm just going to Giant in front, like over here. Just going to void on this Sparky. Bait out like E barbs or whatever on the Sparky because he's gonna have to save the Sparky, right? And then I can go bomber and look at the bomber stack up. This is gonna be like a generational stack up. Yo, and the arrows on the oh my god, that was good. The arrows on the what do you call it? E barbs, sorry. Or no, 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 heal spirit, heal spirit. Sorry, I'm confusing myself, <laughs> but yeah, that was really good arrows. I'm gonna go for a night witch in the back. I can spell out the tower because I've got triple spell. If you look at my hand, I have rage arrows and uh void, so like I actually have a lot of damage dealing spells arrows for the heal spirit again oh i caught it again fisherman in the middle and that is going to be a good game look how easy it is to play that deck i was down so much but i still managed to come back so i will take the win okay deck number four monk rg and monk actually came out of nowhere but people figured it out that like it's really good against the dagger duchess so monk is actually like one of the best cards right now if you get the whole reflection on the dagger duchess by the way you get like five six hundred damage right off the bat just for one elixir so that's so broken i'm gonna monk in the back corner i think my dagger will take care of the bomber okay bowler to back this could be any deck bomber and bowler huh i don't know what deck he could be playing but we'll find out i guess i'm definitely gonna pop my ability though uh i need to fisherman okay i need to pop ability like right now so it doesn't get knocked away no it barely got knocked away but yo the bowler damage though okay i'm getting a lot of damage on the tower that was really good damage i'll take it i'm gonna go for a wizard in the middle i need to go in before he can giant graveyard opposite i feel like he's playing giant graveyard he played a witch no smart okay he's gonna tower trade i was hoping he wouldn't do that because i wanted to wizard and then rg on the left like no way for him to defend that but he was actually smart enough to tower trade oh and my e spirit didn't chain okay um well wouldn't have mattered the giant would have taken out my tower anyways but maybe i could have voided last second to save it i don't know Anyways, I like this spot a lot because I can rip a RG in the pocket and just get damage. Or I can even like Monk Bridge, get the dagger damage, and then go RG in the pocket because daggers are out. I can do a lot of things to get damage in this matchup, but he can't because he only has to go for Giant Graveyard. And if I hook the Giant away with the Fisherman, he's cooked because I don't even have to defend the Graveyard. So yeah, this is like a really good matchup. Okay, Wizard the back for the Bowler and the Bomber. I can also Fisherman the Bowler and then try to go for like a Monk RG. This could be really good. I could take out his King Tower right now. I don't know if I want to commit all that, though. He could just giant graveyard my king tower and cook me. Wait, no, nah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be good. I'm just going to go for a monk over here. No, he arrows, so now my wizard's going to die because I put it right in front of... Okay. All right, that was annoying. I'm just going to go for my ability here, though. I'm just going to log it, too. Why did he bomber like that? That was actually a really bad bomber. Okay. I'll take... I'm not complaining, though. I'm just going to go for a wizard over here. Didn't even need it, but... It's all good. I am just going to get to my monk. Because if I get to my monk, I can rip it at the bridge. Okay. Going to go for a fisherman. I'm one off monk. Okay, back to monk. So I'm just going to put it at the bridge. Going to pop my ability in a second here. Get the full reflection. Oh my god. Look at all that damage. Like, that's not real, dude. Wow. That is so much damage. He's back to evil bat, so I need to wizard like as soon as I can. Ooh, perfect. Okay, let's go. All right, that's going to be tower. I'm going to hook the bowler with the second fisherman, actually, because my fisherman died. So I'm going to put it like this. That way my wizard is going to stay alive. I can RG again. Ooh, smart. He goes in. But definitely not going to be enough to take my tower because um, he needs a lot more than that. He's going to get like more than half my tower, obviously, but not going to be enough to take my tower. So I will take the win. Nice. Super easy deck to play once again. Um, gameplay will look a lot different if you have the evil wizard. But, you know, like I don't I didn't buy the pass last season, so I don't have it. All right, and deck number five is going to be Ice Spell. Ice Spell counters everything in the meta at the moment, and I don't know if it counters Logbait right now, but with Evo Tesla, I think it does. And now that Logbait's going to be a little bit more popular because of Evo Barrel, I think Ice Spell is going to be perfect because Ice Spell has a million ways to counter Barrel. You have the Ice Wizard, you have Skeletons, you have Tornado, you have Log. A lot of things to counter um, the Barrel. So yeah, I don't think Logbait's going to be an issue. And that, That's like the most popular deck in the meta. Any other decks are going to be like beatdown decks and stuff, which are, yeah, half the time, like, really good. But one Void could change, like, the entire game like any other deck. So just got to watch out for the Void, and I think Ice Spell players will be fine. Okay, I'm going to Skelly's here. I think I won. Like, he has no Elixir right now. Actually, has zero Elixir because he put the Batarami into my rocket. I just got, like, a 40 Elixir rocket on the right lane. 
Wait a minute. Did he give up? He just said good game. I don't know if he gave up. Uh, okay, he should be like he should have played something, right? I think he gave up. Yeah, I think he did. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna end the video there. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And once again, make sure to try out one of these decks to have success this season. Um, if I had to say like what's the best deck between these, I think the one that I most enjoy is either Ice Spell or the first deck. Even though the first deck is so annoying, I enjoy playing that deck a lot because it's like borderline cycle but not really so yeah love you guys and i will see you guys on the next one bye